Great stuff, we've got a brand new car in and what better chance to show you how a brand new car isn't always brand new. So there's three things I wanna point out on this particular car. Number one, it's already got plenty of swirl marks. What, swirl marks on a brand new car? Surely not. Number two, there's actually an interesting texture difference in the paint on the bumper versus the metal parts. And part three, there's plenty of glue residue on the car. These cars get transported with white tape all over the top for safety, but that can leave behind quite a lot of residue around the edges where the tape used to be. Over here, someone's tried to remove it, and unfortunately, they've scratched the car in doing so. Not ideal. Check this out. So here, where there was some glue, right at this point, it looks like someone's tried to scratch it off, and all the way along, there are very, very fine, swirly sort of scratch marks where someone's gone at it with a cloth, like this, really hard, and failed to remove it. Little did they know, with some tar and glue remover, that'll come off like that. It looks like we've got some leftover plastic tape as well, around the edges. We've also got some rotary buffer lines. Could be from the factory, could be from the dealership. Guess we'll never know. So, thanks for joining me on this quick inspection of a brand new Toyota GR86. Now, swirl marks are no big deal, really. We can fix them very, very easily. The texture, though, on the bumper, I think that might need a heavier cut to remove that. And lastly, the glue marks, just wait and see. A simple product wipe, I bet, will get rid of them in one go. Always spray straight onto the cloth. Watch this. With a simple tire and glue remover, you can easily wipe these lines away. One wipe on. Move the cloth around, flip to a dry side, and take it away. Oh dear. Didn't work. What, didn't work? <laughs> That's where they haven't, no, no, no. <laughs> and, and what Sam is pointing out here, what Sam's pointing out is he sees this line. That line is where the dirt was. It wasn't scratched underneath it. <laughs> That's what you can now see. With a simple tire and glue remover, you can easily wipe these lines away. One wipe on, move the cloth around, flip to a dry side, and take it away. First off, let's see what the HGO 550F makes of this texture on the bumper. Let's start by loading the pad. That should be enough. So what I'm gonna do is a section here. We'll compare where I've polished with the part over here that I haven't. So let's take off that polishing residue, just the leftover compound, and we'll show you the difference between here and here. Right, so check out the texture above the Toyota badge and compare that to where I've just polished. We can see some leftover haze from the microfiber, but that texture is massively improved. There's the polished section, coming back across the unpolished section. Buff that off. That's a texture change before and after. So there's good. And there we go. So how about that? One single pass with the HGO microfiber and we've removed that texture already. What a big improvement from such a simple process. But it does mean 
we're going to need to refine this afterwards. This heavy cutting fiber may leave behind a little bit of microfiber haze. Don't worry, we'll come to how to fix that shortly. For the general swirls, I'm gonna try using the HDO CCS foam pad and the OSP microfiber. I'm sure both will work really, really well, but just to show you that they both work, I'll use one on this section and one a bit further down on the same panel. To make sure it's a fair test, I'm using the same compound, same speed on the Udos, just with a different pad. Let's take off the compound residue and see how different pads have given us a very similar result. Camera. So this zone over here has been polished with the one step microfiber pad. And this zone over here with the HDO CCS orange pad. Very similar results, swells all gone in one go. The one step fiber pad is gonna make light work of the swells and the holograms over here too. So let's start with on the bumper. Absolutely perfect. As you can see, holograms are gone in one go. Perfect. One step pad also works really, really well, of course, on lights. Swell's all gone. There's a tiny amount of microfiber haze, which we'll fix very easily with the foam pad shortly afterwards. But for now, good result already. For these scratches on the boot lid, I'm gonna make my life easier and stick with the HDO 550F heavy cutting microfiber. So there we go, one single pass with the HGO 550F microfiber. Let's see how it's come out. All right, so let's buff off this residue and have a look what's underneath. So here is where the scratches were. One pass with the HGO 550F has removed those scratches in one go. A Little bit of microfiber haze left over, not a problem. We're gonna refine that too. So that's the result from the HDO CCS orange pad. Bling. Now for the wing mirrors, what I've just done is use the HDO CCS orange pad to remove the swells and finish down with the black HDO foam pad to refine it. Take a look. So after removing all the swirls and the scratches and the glue and the texture, I'm now going to refine everything with the HDO black foam. Let me show you how easy it is to remove the microfiber haze. This is my HDO black foam pad on the Udo's 51E. Here we go. So here's the big reveal. That's cut with a microfiber. And here's the haze all gone. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. 
What a perfect finish. Hazy to refined. And it's on the spoiler as well. So that again is the top of the tail light after polishing both stages. And that is those holograms removed and then refined afterwards for a perfect gloss. So to finish off the front bumper, let's take out the microfiber haze and you'll see the whole process. Finished here, the microfiber haze here, and the original nasty finish to the right-hand side. Let's take another look at the refined versus the rough cut versus the original. So, finished off. Rough cut, original. Refined, rough cut, original. Original, rough, and refined. Perfectly parked. So as luck would have it, we've got another one. Just as we have with the blue car, we've got the same texture problem on the red car bumpers as well. This car's still got all the white transport plastics that the blue car would have had when it got to its customer, but this one's been left for us to remove. It gives me a great chance to show you how the car would have looked before and where all these tape lines would have been. Well, in fact, will be, because around the edges of these tape lines, there's going to be some sort of residue built up. There'll be dirt and grime that's caught against the edges, such as at the back over here, where the customer of the blue car, unfortunately, had had someone try and scratch that residue away. There's the line. That's what it would have been. We can also see, of course, in this car, it's very, very dirty. We've got leaves, we've got mud and dust. It's been sitting outside on an airfield for up to six months. Which explains why on this car, just as with the blue one, we've got a green mold buildup around the edge of the window. It's been outside for such a long time, this new car isn't new anymore. That is how much green junk has built up and grown on this car whilst it's been waiting to be sent to the customer. Yet another reason why a new car isn't always new. And look, as you can see, when I clean it away, you can now see through the glass. Now you can see through the glass, it's clear again. My bet is we'll see the same glue residue line around the edge of this tape as we did on the blue car. So hopefully you can understand both these new cars, exactly the same problems. We see it all the time. And fixing the sinkage issue using a HDO 550F microfiber, then refining with the black HDO foam is equally routine. Now, like with wet sanding, Sinkage removal in particular, it's a permanent change to the car's finish. I always say it's like going from standard definition to HD. It's always gonna look that bit sharper. Explaining new car defects to clients can be a bit like repeating the same script over and over. It's actually quite routine as well. Perhaps sending this video to them will help you explain to your clients the same sort of thing as that you've seen here. Of course, it really helps to have the LC Power Tools inspection light to show how the finish is changing before and after the polishing.
So with the car now finished off, all those defects removed, this is ready to be handed over to the customer. If you'd like your car detailed by us here at Lake Country, check the link in the description down below. I'm Jay from Lake Country Manufacturing, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.